Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Enjoy this presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Coming to you live out of the Tampa Bay area of Florida. Thanks for joining us tonight. We always have fun. want to mix it up a little bit for you. It's uh, certainly something we do of service and able to give back and help others and uh you know, just uh, kick the ball around a little bit for free, obviously. Do some healings, do some readings, uh, kind of keep folks entertained and at least give them hope through all these times of turmoil in the world that, um, you know, perhaps your rest of your life will be the best of your life and that things will actually improve and get better, better, better. So that's what we strive for here, of course. So thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're listening to the URL, lots of folks on the computer end of the call. But if you want to call in and ask a question, it's 713-955-0594. you got to press 1 if you want to raise your hand. It's a New York number. And, of course, I'm out of Florida. My producer's out of Connecticut. Uh, we're just all over the place. So we never know what we're going to get. And that's part of the excitement is not knowing. So by all means, give us a call tonight and get in on the fun. Definitely want to be in a quiet place. If we do hear some babies screaming and dogs barking the whole time we're talking to you, you might get a question in, but we're going to hit mute right after that. So uh, probably best to be somewhere quiet uh, in a place where you won't be disturbed. So uh, that's always best. And if you're working with me and you need a healing, definitely figure out which way is due north. Sun comes up in the east, turn to the left, as I always say. You want to have your feet about hip width apart. It's strong mountain pose and yoga. It really helps, too, if you're hydrated. It doesn't matter if you close your eyes or have them open. Uh, but grab hold of one question tonight, folks. And, uh, gosh, i got a bunch of them listed on my nightstand. I'll probably be working on them later. But everybody can come up with stuff, relationships, uh, maybe something going on with your health, work, job, career maybe children, finances, gosh, grab one of those things. I could think of 10 on myself right now. But grab one good thing, and let's see if we can stir things up for you. And uh, stay tuned. If you're not already on our email list, we come out with a little newsletter. It's called TGI Wednesday, and it's just filled with affirmations and audio and video and all kinds of stuff, YouTube, a little bit of all that. Gosh, we're on all of it, everything from Twitter to Instagram to YouTube to Facebook, the endless stuff. Thank God I have somebody that manages that for me. And uh, so I just, uh, I do what I do. <laughs> so we're glad you're here. Uh, definitely get in on it tonight. Again, it's 713-955-0594. And you can always visit us at jimmymachealing.com to get in on the newsletter as well. Tonight's special guest is Reverend Debbie Dean Spear. She's one of my longtime friends and cohorts and uh gosh we love her so much we always have so much fun she's wildly intuitive her specialty of course is communication with those that are crossed over to the other side it's always a really popular show last tuesday of the month you'll always join us for this show and it's always the phone lines are jammed with folks wanting to talk to uh perhaps their loved one in spirit even pets so welcome to the show reverend debbie how are you tonight Good. Gosh, I can hardly hear you. Maybe it's me. Probably. You're getting older. How about now? There you go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy when you're here. I can put the whole airplane on autopilot. And uh, it's always a good show when you're around, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, folks are so funny. I'll have Skype uh, calls all over the world. And they go, Jimmy, I want to see you live on video. And it's like, oh, i got to remember to have Sandy take a picture of me tomorrow when she and I meet. <clears throat> It'll be me laying in bed with my eyes closed. That's going to be my new Skype picture. 
<laughs> they're like, well, I want to see you. And it's like, what do you want to see? You know, like, I'm not that. even looking at you. And I know if you're going forward, back or in between. <laughs> so it's too family. funny. We're so okay. glad you're here, though. How are you staying out of the heat or what? Well, in between chasing cats. Chasing uh, cats? Yeah. You know, my cat hasn't come back yet, and I keep hearing, hysterically hearing the cat meow, meow, and then I'm running out to see if it's come back to the house. Oh, wow. Hysterically that I'm hearing it meow through the house, you know, that he's still talking to me. So wow. We'll Time will tell well, where he turns up. Here my yeah. Mom. My big fat black cat with green eyes is a hunter killer, so we let him out every night. I let him out before this show, or he would have been screaming bloody murder all through my show. So I let him out, and he comes back every morning. He's so smart, he sits behind my car because he knows I'll be leaving to go to a aqua class, and he sits there because yeah. he knows that way I won't run him over, and he's he's ready for tuna first thing in the morning. So we nicknamed him oh. tuna now. Isn't that funny? So with the coyotes at night, huh? <clears throat> no. So, <laughs> hopefully he's smart enough for all that. You know, we were out there with him one night, you can laugh, and uh, we thought it was a raccoon or an opossum or something running up the tree. It was him. He had run up oh. an entire tree, and he had jumped onto the second story of our house. So, that's how wild he is. So, wow. he is a trip. He is a trip. So, that's hopefully that. he'll I be think- okay. My friends would jump off her balcony from the second floor. Oh, my gosh. You know, cats, they got all them lives. They can do crazy things. They really do. They (laughs) really do. Tell folks how to get a hold of you, honey, so they can get a private reading. I know you got uh, Facebook and then an email address and a phone number. My phone number is 727-433-3896. And my email address is spiritualdeb at gmail.com. And then on Facebook, I have Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church. Love that. Well, that's good, honey. We're so glad you're on the, on the call tonight. And I know often you'll do some angel card readings and shoe stud and a little yep. bit of everything and, of course, communication and spirit. So if you're lucky, folks, she might even throw a card or two for you. We'll see. 310 is our first caller. Hi, what's your name? I have an idea where you're calling from. Hello. Hi, how are you tonight? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Oh. Well, we're doing good. Thanks for asking, honey. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Is it me? It's yes. you. It's all you. It's you in stereo. You. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Jennifer. Where are you calling from? My name is Melissa, and I'm calling from Los Angeles. Okay. Right. You have a question for Reverend Debbie, Melissa? I do. Um, I'm really wondering about my career and um, big things coming to me in a, in job wise. And um, uh, I I talked with. Jimmy in April and he was actually accurate but I did with the timing and everything but I didn't actually book it it was between me and one other woman oh wow and it went to the other woman <laughs> and it was well so then I was really was... accurate is encouraging thank you <laughs> that's what <laughs> yes. we strive for I love it so I've been I've been calling many times when you've been on because I feel like the combination of you two can help me um but kind of bring it in, bring something else in, because we, because it did come in. I really got close. I just am ready to have my turn between, because it's amazing. It, so that's what I'm asking. If you can see, please. Okay. Well, spirit is saying the best gift to you is humor, and for you to laugh at yourself and lighten your heart. To let nothing steal your happiness. And you keep talking and talking about what you want, but you haven't fully made up your mind. This is what you want. Spirit is saying, you have great ideas. Quit talking about it and get doing it. And I feel like the past month you've needed a lot of rest. You've been beating yourself up, questioning every decision you make. 
part of that was with the wonderful retrograde that we're just completing. Hooray! And I see you taking authority, and it hasn't been shown to you yet of exactly what you're going to do. But I feel that you're being way too critical of yourself. And Spirit is telling me you have two decisions, and I feel that when you decide which job is the best for you, A or B, I feel that you're going to feel like a weight has been taken off your shoulder. There's no wrong decision. It doesn't matter which job you take. Both roads are taking in a circle. You're going to end up in the right place at the right time in the right place moment like you're supposed to and spirit says trust and know you're going to take a little trip and when you come back everything will fall right into place for you and I feel then you're going to see the spiritual upliftment that's in your life right now because you're going through a lot of major changes and I feel that you're going to be so happy as you begin this new journey so know that the right opportunity is right in front of you it's going to be offered to you. So you wow. haven't missed you haven't missed anything at all. So you, you know, see something to... right in front of me coming? Yeah, this month. And you know, if you would have accepted a job when Mercury was retrograde, nobody at the job would have known the real you. They would have been judging you wrong. It would have been do and redo, and nobody would have ever been happy with you. So count your blessings that the other person got the job and not you, because they're having hardships. So trust spirit and allow them to open the door for you, and you're going to see it all unfold easy and effortlessly for you. And I feel this is your time to shine. So God bless you. How wonderful. Very cool. Well, that's helpful, Melissa. Gosh. Mercury goes direct uh, here uh, Wednesday night, so just know August 1st is going to be like, uh, yeah, it's going to be like uh, tumbles on a lock, and, you know, it's going to open the vault, if you will. So anything you do in August is going to be infinitely better, okay? Do you see um, Do you see anything coming? I mean, you, you have some really high probability here in the next couple weeks. So I certainly would get out there and apply to whatever works for you. And, you know, if you can get a, whether it's headhunters or something like that. But about the middle of August, that's really good for you. My birthday is the 19th, and you're at about 15, 16, 17, August by August 17th, somewhere around there. Might even be on a weekend, something bizarre. You'll get an email or something's going to come up with maybe a second or third interview, that kind of thing. So. That's our goal. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Thanks. We'll see what happens now. Thanks for calling in, honey. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye. 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 Thank Bye you. for now. Three four seven's our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Three four seven. Hi, thank you for taking my call. This is Katie. I'm calling from New York. How are you, Katie? What's going on tonight? I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, we're Great. doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Did you have a question uh, for Reverend Debbie? Sure. I wanted to ask about my love life. And maybe when I might start dating someone I actually like. <laughs> You're tired of dating people you don't like? No, 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 no. I have, uh, I've met, not that I've, uh, I've met, so like I've met some people and I just was, I guess, going on dates with them or I used to date them, but they still like me, but I don't know that like I'm really attracted to them or anything like that. I did meet uh, one or two people that I am attracted to though. Well, first, you need to make up your mind if you want Mr. Right now or Mr. Right, because you haven't made your mind up. Well, I want Mr. Right. I see spirit cutting cords from anger, resentment, old decisions Mm -hmm. from old relationships. I see all these cords being cut, tied up, 
so that you can have a fresh start for the real deal. Yeah, I ask for that every day. I ask to get my cords cut every day. Yeah, I feel that's really, really important for you. And you're going to see that you're stepping into the middle of the intersection where it's a time of decision. It's like Uh death. And spirit wants you to acknowledge and align with the purpose that you have gifts within yourself. You're very psychic in your own way. And I feel that you have gifts to share with the world. And as you open up, they're saying pay attention to the dolphins because they're going to help you to find your fun and understand the cycles where we all are becoming and surrender to your change because you're having to release fear and trust this powerful process that spirit's opening the doors for you. And I feel that it's here and now. Um, that it's all coming together for you. And it's not somebody you already know that you're going to say this is the one. It's somebody you haven't even met yet. And here to trust the process. And you'll see the doors unfold. Okay. Okay. I I received that message. I I understand it. Awesome. You know, thank you. And also, it feels like sometime in uh, uh, September, by the way, it certainly is before October 1st. So that's what I'm getting. And uh, they're okay, basically wow. kind of whispering, too. I think a lot of times, beautiful women such as yourself, you know, you're looking at the guy on the motorcycle wearing the leather, and he says, Get on, this will be dangerous, and we could all die. And you're like, Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a helmet. Yes. This is going to be fat. How, what could possibly go wrong with this? So whereas yes. the other guy, you may not be that interested in, he's really interested in you. God forbid he'd be stable and wanted to take home to mom and be have manners, right? So, you know, think about that I, too, okay? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I'm open Does to that. Does that help? Thank Does that you make so sense much. to you? Yeah, I really would be. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Yep. Have Thank a great night, both. okay? Thanks. Thanks for calling yes, in. Yes. Thanks for listening to the show. 818 is our next caller. That's in L.A. area, too. Hi, 818. How are you tonight? I'm doing fine. This is Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. How are you, honey? Glad you called in. I'm doing What's good. going on? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, not good, not good. nothing much. I have a question. Okay. And All right. I w- would like to know if I may have a message from my sister, Nancy. Uh, she isn't here right now. Okay, she, she is isn't here. Oh. Um, there's a grandfather here. There's an uncle here. There's okay. another lady here, not your sister. And um, she's sitting in the background, so she hasn't identified herself to me yet. And yeah. um, they're showing me um, prosperity all around you. Um, okay. They're taking restrictions off of you because this is a time of change in your life, and they're telling me that there's a really good friend around you that's always there through thick and thin. And this is one of the earth angels that they have helping so that you don't feel stuck, so that you'll know you're moving ahead. Okay. Okay. And there's somebody, unexpected company coming your way that you're not going to want to stay in at your house. And if your first thought is no, stick with the no. Don't let them no, talk you into anything else. You don't need anyone staying at your house. No, I don't. No. And um, I feel this is a time where spirit is putting the most beautiful blue light all around you, and the angels are helping you to move forward for what you're really wanting. And your sister is working. There's a grandmother here from your dad's side of the family. And she's saying your sister is working, um, helping somebody else, and that's why she's unable to be here right now. Okay. Thank you. How nice. Thank you. That is You're very Very cool. What did you say? That's Reverend Debbie? Yeah. 
No, I said, what did she say? I said, trust I don't know, the note on the right page. Okay, I will. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Trust the note. I bless Thank you. you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Everything else good, good, honey? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Everything else is good. Thank you, Jimmy. Love it. Yeah, You're welcome, you honey. For, we appreciate uh, you calling in. Call. Gosh. Yeah, of course. We appreciate you listening to the show. It's great. Thank you for calling in. Thanks for listening. 727 is our next caller. Hi, that's from our neck of the woods, Florida. What's going on? It is. It's Sarah from St. Pete. How are you? Hey, Sarah from St. Pete. Doing okay, honey. Do you have a question just, for Reverend Debbie? Anybody I just want to see what spirit, shows. I always, I always want to ask what, she, what shows for me or if there's anyone in spirit showing for me. What's coming? Okay. All right. Let's see who wants to come through. Oh, how sweet. Well, Archangel uh, Gabriel is here with you, Archangel, and uh, he says it's a time of spiritual awakening, financial blessings for you. Things are going to start balancing out for you, and they're showing me October, and there's a lot of big surprises where you think something has passed you by. But it's coming back around like a merry-go-round for you. And I feel that you need to leave the past in the past. Okay? Um, They're showing me a Scorpio that you need to let go of the emotions with this person. And I feel that when you do, you're going to start seeing everything flowing easy and effortlessly for you. And it's just going to be a temporary feeling of lack. And... It's like, you know, when we get hurt, how we build the big brick wall. We don't want to be stupid. We're not letting no one do this to us again. And Spirit is saying, you're never stupid. And Mm. this is really a time of awakening for you to step into the true light of who you are. And Archangel Gabriel is helping you to make your wishes come true so that you'll see things clearly. And um, they're showing me partnership with you, and they're saying it's time to learn how to grow with others so that you can overcome the obstacles of the past. And I feel that you're going to be working together with somebody, and you're touching each other's hearts while life lasts. And they're showing new connections with people. It's not just love. I feel the right people, they're getting the stagnant energy or stagnant people out of your life so you can step into the true light of who you really are, Sarah. And um, they're saying for the new moon to make sure you make your list of what you really want to manifest in your life and you'll see it coming to fruition. How nice. And um, there's a woman here. I'm hearing grandmother, 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 grandmother here with you. And um, she says, we have a very strong connection. You might think you don't know me, but she said, I work with the angels and that we help you and we take care of you. And she's very proud of how far you've come. And she wants you to stop judging yourself and just move forward, and you're going to see how everything unfolds. So God bless. Well, that's easy to do. (laughs) That's wonderful. Wow. I'm not. Well, that's. That's a whole lot of reading right there, Sarah from St. Pete, just saying. Yeah. It's lovely. It's absolutely <laughs> lovely. Just believe you're not alone, you know, because spirit's right beside you and your grandmother's helping you. And she says, whatever you need, just ask for guidance and it will come. How sweet. Mm. God bless. What a nice reading. Yeah, I agree. But Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. You're you so bet. Well. Honey, we're glad you called in. We're thrilled you listened to the show. Thank you. Gosh, so good. You're doing okay? Everything else is good? Mm, it's coming back around again. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'll we'll do the see. Scorpio Stay tuned. <laughs> not, yeah. not a Scorpio, though. Not a Scorpio. Not a Scorpio. It's coming back around. I bet he's got Scorpio somewhere. <laughs> I got bet he's got every a now and then, that's moon or sure. sun or some, something in there. Wow. Yeah. You have fun. Do your best, honey. That's yeah. all we can all do. 
I'm more yeah, about entertainment now than ever before. Yeah. So go out and Life's too short fun. to not be. Oh, golly. That's a fact. All right, honey. Have a great night. Thanks for listening. Yeah, you too. Thank you, guys. Bye. Gosh, you're welcome. Night. 415 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. This is Ann from California. How are you, Ann? Hey. Welcome to the show. I am good. I would like, a, good. if it comes through, a similar reading as the last person, just kind of my spiritual growth and um, any angels or guides around me and any help about sleep, getting more um, and longer, deeper sleep without getting woken up all night long. <laughs> well, that's easy, big. All you need to do is meditate before you go to bed so they don't have to wake you up. Uh, uh, and right? Two and three in the morning when they're waking you up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, they're showing Archangel Metatron with you. Wow. Oh, yeah. And I like me your yeah. that you have the gift of healing, and I do mm. feel that you're stepping into a time of enlightenment yourself. And I see so much joy and love all around you. And they're telling me that your cup's overflowing, but you keep giving it all away. You always oh. take care of everybody first, and you last. And Spirit says, that's going to leave you unbalanced. What's in the saucer is what you give to other people. What's in the cup mm. is what you give for a rainy day for yourself. And Spirit's going to show you how to change the view of what is for your highest and best. So oh. if you speak with Spirit, not your friends, but Spirit, they're going to show you the new way to manifest what you're really wanting for your heart's mm-hmm. desire. This is your year where you're stepping into the light. Yeah. And um, they're showing me Kuan Yin with you. Wow. She's the yeah. of loving passion. I have and a a statue. I have her statue yeah. on my bedside. Oh, wonderful. She's one of my favorites. And yeah. she's saying, let the compassion fill your world. Uh-huh. Offer kindness to all living things. Because what you give, you also receive. And she said, the doors are open. How sweet. How sweet. Love that. Gosh. So there's a new strength that's being given to you as you step into the light, dear, and open up to your true spiritual self. And let spirit help you and guide you, and they will. They will. But, you know, I'm yeah. up at 3 in the morning doing my healing work with spirit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can do it in the morning. You can do it before you go to bed, and then they don't have to wake you up. It's all okay. up to you. You're in control, even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. But you are. You are. So I think, um, how do I, what is Metatron? I know it works a lot with children, and he works with creativity. Is that what he's working with me with, or what, how can I? He's a very powerful archangel, and he used to help the other ascended angels. Mm. Um, and he's one of the most powerful archangels there are to help you to manifest what you're wanting to put together. Okay. Yeah. And this is your time to accept the gift. Yeah, it's very close. I mean, I'm, I get a lot of things in my dreams and I, I'm close to the, point of of hearing of getting messages not in my dreams if you know what i mean so yeah but the metatron helps people with the kabbalah text, oh the symbol and within the rabbinic lecture so it's not mentioned in the tarot the tarot but um the name originated is a matter of debate you know everyone has their own idea but he he helps 
people with their balance and with opening the doors. Okay. Very cool. Appreciate you calling Very in. Cool. Thanks for listening yeah. to the show. Did you, Gosh, you wanted a yeah, big, definitely. You wanted a big that message and you got it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, could she say her yes. phone number again or contact info? Sure. sure. Yeah. 727-433-3893. Great. Thank you so much. And Archangel Metatron also helps those who exhibit spiritual and psychic gifts as well as the children. Oh, or the yeah. Children or, the, or indigo children, he also works with them. But So he's yeah. probably around to help you with your awakening. So how wonderful. That's great. Yeah, that's and, wonderful. And just Thank so you, you yeah, yeah, if you email us, uh, you can uh, get on our email list. It's jimmymachealing.com. Yeah. And if you sign Great. up for the newsletter, you'll find the link to this show. It'll be, have the replay in it, just so you know you're at about 30 minutes in. So yeah. really about 25 minutes in. That way you don't have to listen to the whole show. You might want to hear your segment again, you know. So for sure, yeah, because I, I wasn't writing anything down. So I yeah, have... I'm, I, lots of folks do that, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to hear it again on the replay. You can reach out to us. Also, in the weekly newsletter, it'll have Reverend Debbie's phone number and email address and a link to get a hold of her as well, get private readings, okay? Okay. Sounds great. Thank awesome. you. Thanks for calling in. We appreciate you listening to the show. Gosh. Yeah, I appreciate the show. You bet. Thanks again. Have a great night. Sleep is all about routine, just so you know, Anne and everybody that's listening to. So you definitely want to have the same little routine every night. I find Epsom salts baths really help. And for those that don't have a bathtub, you could put some in a cup. A lot of folks test for lavender and non-lavender, and you're non-lavender, by the way. So Epsom salts would really help. Uh, hot showers before we go to bed, that sort of thing. Having that same little routine every night, basically telling your body that it's time to go to bed. And like Reverend Debbie said, especially if you want to lay down and start meditating, you might just, you know, drift off from there and that's really a good thing you know keep in mind it's been mercury retrograde it's been a total shit show it really has been crazy with the <laughs> moons and everything else going on so you know a lot of that has just been up and down and sideways there's times where i have to take a nap in the middle of the afternoon i'm up half the night it's just the way it is folks but it's going to straighten out here in a hurry uh reverend debbie tell folks how to get a hold of you we're at halfway mark so let them know okay. the best email address and phone number uh, spiritualdeb at gmail.com, and my phone number is 727-433-3896, and I'm on Facebook with Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church. Love that. It's awesome. 920 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Linda. Hi, hey, Linda. Linda. How are you tonight? Where are you calling from, honey? I'm calling from Rubicon, Wisconsin. You're calling from where? Rubicon, Rub Rubicon Wisconsin. Wisconsin, okay. Yeah. Got it. Did you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yes, I do. Um, okay, I have been presented a lot of um, emails saying what I should choose as far as, as trying to get a job and getting some money in. And I'm really con concerned, and just, I can't discern which one would be the best one for me. Is there anybody in spirit on the other side that has any suggestions for me at all? Um, well, when we started, when you first come on telling us where you're from, um, there's a very strong father vibration here with you. Yes. Yeah. And, um, but I feel like your father's here on the earth plane with you. I feel like the two of you are so tightly knit. It's like he's hand in hand with you. Do you understand that? Mm, but he's not. He's, yeah. But even though he has passed, he's showing me that the two of you are so knit together. It's like you're hand in hand, whether he's here or there. He's always with you, hand in hand, is what he's telling me. Okay. Okay? And I feel that the two of you have a karmic agreement 
before you were incarnated in this lifetime where he would he went ahead to pave the way so he could help you from the world of spirit. Okay. okay. Yeah. And he's showing legal contracts around you. And he's saying, don't just sign what they put in front of you. Double check it because something is left off the contract and it will mean less money if you don't catch it. Okay. Okay. And yeah. um, I feel that they're spring cleaning you or saging you energetically so that you can let go and let God. And it's like you're doing five or six things at once instead of finishing one thing and then going to the next. And there's a million threads, like strings, hanging all around you where you need to tie them all up. And whatever you've started, complete it so that you can have this new job that you're wanting. Okay? There's a lot of restrictions that you're putting on yourself. And your dad is saying, timing is everything. You're wanting everything by Friday. And he said, lose the time frame. And then you will see victory in what you're wanting to accomplish. Your energy has been really scattered, but part of that is with retrograde that we're just finishing up. You understand? Yes, I do. Butterflies all around you, and I feel this is a time of metamorphosis for you. And he wants you to trust the process and be patient because becoming cannot be rushed. Change is a beautiful thing and he says that they've been working very hard he's shown me family unity where your whole family and spirit whether you knew them in this lifetime or not is coming together to help you from the world of spirit and you're going to see great things in store for you in the coming months I feel everything is being put in divine right order for you and how wonderful and he says you make a false proud could I ask one more question? Certainly. Um, um, I just want to know if I kind of want to go to Arizona in October. Is that for my highest good at this time? Um, it's kind of like the kid in the candy store. You don't need it, but you want it. It makes you happy. So I'm going to go in the candy store, and I'm going to get whatever candy I want, and I'm going to gouge myself on it. And that's what Arizona is. Arizona, Sedona, I'm sorry, is for you right now. It's like I want the sweetest thing I can have because it's going to make you feel good. It's not that you have to have it right now. It'll come at a later date. It's that you're desiring it. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Sort of. Um, I just kind of have a little problem with it because where I have to go, there's some mm-hmm. conflict of interest, and I don't know if it's in my highest good to go, but I also have a granddaughter there that I kind of promised that I'd come, so I don't uh-huh. want to break that promise. So right. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of like caught. Well, if you decide to delay it, it's not going to be that much longer before you do go there, and whatever... The hardship is there would be taken care of, so when you do go there, you don't have all those hardships. Oh. Okay. Or people that can't avoid. I feel there's oh. still healing going on with them, and that's why this isn't the time for you to go there. This isn't? But you would. It's just not right now. Okay. okay. Appreciate right. your thank call, you. honey. Thank you so thank much. You so have much, a great Jimmy, night. And you've helped me so much. And thank you very much. Oh, good. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Oh, God thank bless. you. We're glad to hear that, honey. Thanks for listening to the show. 985 is our next caller. Hi, we just want to get as many folks in as we can because it's jammed tonight, which is always good. So please keep it to one question. What's going on, 985? Where are you calling from? What's your name? From Louisiana. How are you? Um, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, I have a, a What's your question. name? This is Virginia. Sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, Virginia. Uh, How are you tonight, hi. honey? I'm, I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm good, thank yeah. you. Do you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yes. Um, I would like to know if, if there's a message for me from my 
sister who recently passed away, and uh, her memorial service is coming up in August. Okay. Um, she's she's laughing and she's saying, "I'm the baby." She's trying to yes. say you're older than her. She was, she was the baby of the family. And um, she says, "You know, don't don't think that I'm stuck." She said, because I don't have any hardships. And um, she said it was my destiny. And there's a lot of healing that's taking place. And she's telling me that everybody was there to greet her. She said it's so wonderful. And she doesn't feel overloaded anymore. Okay. And she says, um, don't be upset. She said she's grateful for how everything worked its way out. And she said, I really didn't have suffering as we know it. And she loves you very much, and she's very grateful, and she doesn't want you to have any regrets. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Um, sometimes we're not the ones that are supposed to be there when someone takes their last breath. And she wants you to know that. She says there's so much healing going on, and she says you're going to be aware of it. And she said... She loves you from the bottom of her heart. Thank you. And she said she's going to study really hard in the angel school so that she'll be able to come and help you and work with the angels. So God bless you. How cool oh, is that, Virginia from Louisiana? I love it. I love it. There's somebody here with her writing the letter M. Somebody writing a letter M that's here with her in spirit, too. Could be her, and, her uh, mother, Mary. Yeah. Mary. And uh, she says, we're all here gathered in love and understanding. And she said, don't feel bad for me. She said, we're the lucky ones. Oh, good. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. Love uh, that. God mm-hmm. bless you. I feel like there's Gosh. Need. Are your legs hurting you? Or your back? Uh, I'm feeling the pain. Yeah, sometimes my back. Okay. Because I feel that the angels are running energy through you. And um, so God bless you. And we'll send you some healing. Love that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're glad you called in. Thanks for listening to the show, honey. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Gosh, have a good night. Thank you. 714, that always reminds me of my father in spirit. It's an address of a building. 714, Hi, area this code. Is Art Hi. From California. Hey, Art from California. How are you tonight? I'm doing okay. The reason I was calling was I would like some healing energy. I've been going through okay. some medical issues, and I really want to get past them really soon. Okay. No pressure. On a live radio show, what's going on when you say healing challenges? That's plural. So I'm having what's problems happening? with my kidneys. Okay. So oh, kidney is generally about fear, just so you know, of course, in Chinese medicine. I do like Uva Ursi for you. Um, that test pretty strong. Uh, Krita tests weak when I'm asking spirit. And, of course, I'm just going on strength and weakness. And there's a lot of different herbs. Also, I like uh, Dr. Christopher's. You can read all about that on eBay or Amazon. There's Dr. Christopher's formulas. He's passed now, but there is a formula also for a kidney cleanse. And I also like for you, um, they're showing me another one. It's a Himalayan herb, but just email me and I'll send you links. You can at least read about it. But go ahead and stand up, face due north. We'll rock some things out for you. And uh, it'll pull you forward. You said your name is Art. should pull you forward for yes. If you just say my name is Art. My name is Art. It's going to feel like a drift forward. If you're standing there due north. And it feels like your energy is reversed, too. Let's try, uh, my name is Nemo the Fish. That should pull you backwards. 
My name is Nima the Fish. Feel the difference? Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. So here we go. So we're going to find the weakness in kidneys. So just put both your hands, if you can, around your kidneys, lower back, and we're going to find that weakness. It's going to pull you forward when we find it, and you'll feel it slam you forward to yes. And we're just looking for that file where there's weakness in those kidneys. And we're going to release all that, resolve it, delete and erase it, disentangle it all out now. Have him learn all the lessons he needed to from this and release him from the service to it. And we're running some direct connect energy through that. It's going to pull you back when it releases. You'll feel a wave. And you can... Go ahead and talk while we're doing it, Art, because it is a live radio show. So, Oh, it sounds great. It feels great. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. And so there's all kinds of cleanses you can do, too. I swear to you, there's there's a bunch of uh, folk cleanses. Watermelon doesn't test strong for you, but you can get some fresh uh, asparagus, and you puree it in the blender. That's actually a setting of puree. And so you okay. get that all blended up, and that's after you were to boil fresh asparagus. You could put some lemon on it and whatnot, and you really want to take a couple cups of that, and that's an incredible cleansing uh, agent that would really help kidneys as well. But, again, it's all about fear. So uh, the more you can stay probably out of diuretic things like coffee and tea, the better off you're going to be. And you also test really strong for lemon water. I'd probably take a whole lemon and put it in a pitcher of water every day and just say a little prayer over it and just see it as really blessed healing energy and water. That's going to go a long way to help you as well. Okay? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, we're glad you called in. Thanks for listening to the show. Yeah, if you email me, we'll send you all kinds of stuff that would help you. It's info at jimmymachealing.com. Will do. Take care. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Gosh, I love that. 714, that's a great area code. That makes me laugh. I love it. 775 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Linnell from California. How are you, Linnell? I'm well, and yourself? You guys sound good. Good, good. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. We're glad to hear that. Gosh, we never know. We just chitty chat amongst ourselves. We just hope it turns out well. <laughs> I'm glad you called in. You have a question for Reverend Debbie? I am. Well, they keep flipping around. First, I wanted to talk about my dog, and then I wanted to talk to like a family member, and then when um, with each um, guest that you guys have been speaking with, I've connected with spirit as well, um, and it's brought me to grandmother. So. <laughs> Um, that is my question, I guess, my connection with grandmother right now. Wow. Okay. From your mother's side of the family? Well, that's where I've been From focusing. From your mother's side of the family? That's where I've been focusing. Um, but, um, like, just like yesterday, my dad's mom came in, which was kind yeah. of weird. Well, I was going to say, you have two here, so. <laughs> Because she, well, I just didn't go there. <laughs> well, your grandmother from your dad's side of the family yeah. is standing on the path, and there's trees, you know, like big oak trees on both sides of the tree. Do you ever see that, how beautiful that looks? Oh, yeah. And I see her standing on this path with a dog, a small dog. I don't know if your dog was white. They're showing me white, but I think that spirit's light, the white. Yeah, I don't okay. know much about dad's mom. Well, I, yeah, don't know much there. Well, but maybe. there's a bright, bright light, and she's standing here with the dog that you wanted to ask about. And oh. um, she wants you to know that they still watch over you from the world of spirits. 
you know, animals come in our lives to protect us and watch over us. And even though they've crossed over, they're still watching over you as if you got a four-legged angel in spirit. And um, your mother's mother is here as well. And she knew from the moment you were born that there's special things that you're going to be doing. And she's telling me that you're her heart. And she says, you're very self-sufficient. And she said, it's time for you to get away and to regroup and make new plans for yourself. And you're going to see that everything is starting to flow for you, that you're not in the eye of the hurricane anymore. All that is behind you, not in front of you. And she said, let's take baby steps, and you're going to see your small wishes coming true, and it's just going to keep expanding more and more for you. And you are going to go take a trip, and then when you come back, everything's just going to roll like dominoes right into place. And I okay. feel it is your place and best. And don't second-guess yourself. They're very proud of what's going on in your life, and you're going to understand here very soon they're taking their cap off, saying a job well done to you. And just trust and know. Trust and know this is your destiny. I feel like you have a connection to Lemuria and Atlantis, and they're showing me dolphins all around you. So, And they say that the dolphins were sent here from the Palladians. I don't know if you know about all that. I have um, been learning about that this last year, and yeah. um, I believe yeah, I believe right. I just um, started speaking in tongues last week. Congratulations! Um, how wonderful! Yeah. <laughs> I um, oh, how wonderful. I speak to I speak to space, and then I speak to animals all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, it's incredible. It sure is. You'll never be I'm the just, same for sure. No, I'm just uh, trusting it because I don't understand good. it. <laughs> yeah, um, but they'll understand I've it. I've never been happier, yep. and I've never been in a, a lower place in my life. It's an odd situation. <laughs> but I am going to be traveling. So I'm I'm super happy to hear that. Yep. Yeah, it's all coming together for you, dear. So just keep walking forward. Just keep taking another step, and you'll see the Holy Spirit's at work in your life for sure. Oh, so my goodness. I am so connected with you right now. That is super uh, cool. I <laughs> love that. Woo. Gosh. I, even, I understand the tearing and speaking in tongues fully. The wonderful healing yeah. gift to be given. I um, love it. <laughs> yep. I love it. Yep. Um, Good stuff. The oddest thing happened the other day. I was, I was walking and there was three dogs and I started talking to them. And this man asked me, he's like, oh, I had my headphones on. So I just caught like the tail end and all I heard was, are you um, spiritual? That's all I thought I heard because I was taking my headphones <laughs> off. And I'm like, yes, I'm spiritual. And he, and, and I said, uh, he, he said, are you speaking in tongues, in tongues to my dog? And I said, I think so. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. do you believe in Jesus? It was the weirdest thing. And I looked at him wow. and I said, I believe Jesus has been. And I also believe I was one of his really good friends. <laughs> and it well, was the weirdest thing to have come out of my mouth. <laughs> and God that fell was, back for his dog. It was, it was an incredible moment, and I just, I felt like I floated off. It was, <laughs> it was. The guy said, have a blessed day, and I said, you as well, yep. and I walked off. It was pretty cool. Love That's it. Cool. Right? Well, God bless so you. cool. Yeah, God bless you, girl. That Thanks for God. calling in. We appreciate you listening to the show. Gosh. You guys, too. Wasn't that nice? Okay, thanks. <laughs> that was awesome. I love it. No, we're glad uh, you were here. Love it. 
thank you so much, honey, for calling in and listening. We appreciate you. Enjoy it. Have a great night. Gosh, Reverend Debbie, when we're together, it seems like 10 minutes of yucking it up, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> An hour later, here we are. <laughs> yeah. For but it's sure. all good. It's all good. Yep. Thank you so much for being on the show. You always bring it. Folks, she's on the last Tuesday of every month. And, you know, what a what a cool, fun thing that is. It's always exciting and interesting and just enthralling to me. I'm just, I'm like a little three-year-old with, you know, my chin in both uh, hands, just waiting for the next word from spirit. So I just love that. Tell them how yeah. to get a hold of you, honey. They're going to want to have a private reading email. What's the best phone number and the website? Uh, my email is spiritualdeb at gmail.com. And my phone number is 727 727- Four three 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 eight nine six, and on Facebook is Saints of Grace Spiritual Center Church. So thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. We always have fun, honey. I sure appreciate yep, you. Do. You bet, yes. folks. That's our show for tonight. We appreciate you joining in. There's so many folks on the call and the URL, and also, of course, listening uh, live and overseas around the world. Lots of folks still on the call. Stay tuned every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, get in on our newsletter. Uh, it's jimmymachealing.com. Sign up for that. It's going to have a whole list of shows there for you. Gosh, i got some other ones coming up. I think I've got one this next Monday night. is uh, like Psychic uh, Cafe. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern. And that's this coming Monday. Then I'm doing a summit next uh, Thursday around 12 noon Eastern. Uh, So much stuff going on. It's all good. It's all free. So you got to sign up for a lot of it. Uh, But again, it's all free. They just give you the link so you at least know what's going on. Thanks to everybody that joined us tonight. Stay in touch. I want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life. And remember to make progress every day. Good night for now.